Good morning, everyone. I am Mary Beth Kwapniewski, the program director here at SCAN. I'm happy to have with me this morning, Lorena Vera, who is going to be a new instructor starting with us in January for our winter semester. So Lorena, good morning. It's so nice to see you. Good morning, Mary Beth. So nice to see you too. I'm, I'm always excited when we have a new instructor joining us here at SCAN. So I thought I would take the opportunity this morning um, to meet with Lorena and have everyone um, get to know her as well. So Lorena, tell us a little bit about yourself, um, how you came to being an art teacher and a certified art teacher and what that means. Well, I'm uh, originally from Chile. I studied uh, architecture first, like I was telling you a little while ago. Yes. Um, and uh, because, uh, you know, my father didn't want me to study art. so. I finally finished that career and then I went on to study art because that was my passion. I right. always knew it was my passion since I, since I was five years old. And um, so then I started painting and I came into actually teaching children. And um, that really was very challenging. And uh, and I, it was definitely was not my passion. <laughs> so um, then I went on to teaching disabled, which I, I still do. It's, it's, it's one of my passions as well as teaching seniors. So I'm Wonderful. very, very excited for this opportunity. Um, so now I have my little company and we have teachers and, and we're growing, we're growing. That's great. And, and, and I'm going to ask you this because I never asked you this before and I've always wondered. So the name of your business is actually called The Pickled Artist. Yes. How, how did that name come about? <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing, but that's okay. Um, it's, it started, to be quite honest, it started off as a sip and paint business. So, and then my father, he had a favorite poem that at the end of the poem, after saying that the, the, the donkey dies early, everybody dies early, like animals and birds, and but humans stay pickled until 93. The pickles are <laughs> It's the rum and beer. Big. It was an Irish poem. Okay. That he would laugh so much. So I, I said, okay, since it's a sip and paint business, you know, I'll call it the pickled artist. So that's right. how that's how it nice. That's awesome. And that's great. Stuck. So now it's the pickled artist. There you go. There you go. Um, so you mentioned that you are you, um, you have been teaching seniors, and I know we we've talked about you've had some senior programs that have been amazingly successful. And obviously, when the pandemic hit, you moved um, to virtual. So um, you were doing some of that during the pandemic. So we're happy to have you in person here at SCAN at the Mammoth Mall. Um, the name of the class is Fundamentals of Art for the Beginner. It's going to be eight weeks long and you have a beautiful curriculum, um, a syllabus. So if you just wanna give us a highlight of what the syllabus looks like, that would be great. Um, okay, so the, the, the sessions are eight week sessions. Right. And, um, in each session, we're going to learn each fundamental part of art. So art, if you look at it, it's building blocks. And that's the only way that you can successfully get, you know, a, a animal to look like an animal or it all starts from the very, very fundamentals of shapes and lines and perspective. So that's where we're going to start off with um, shapes. Then the second class will move on to, you know, getting all those shapes together, shading, and and then we'll eventually learn how, you know, each brush strokes. And um, and then finally we the the last two sessions we will do our own project and and um, and you'll be amazed at what will come right. out of it. Right. It's really amazing. And the coloring we talk, I know we talk color, about it in the color, color theory, right? And, color theory, right? Exactly. And, and could you speak a little bit to the importance of being in a creative environment as we're aging? Um, I know before we came on, we talked about 
Jean Cohen, who's someone who I came to learn about while I was in this position as a program coordinator, um, who did a publication, I think it was back in 2006, about the importance of being in a creative environment as you're aging for psychological, emotional, and physical well-being. So do you he want to talk about that? that? Uh, he actually said that it was um, it, it, it helped better than any pill. So what happens when you age is that your cognitive skills start diminishing, right? Because your brain cells start dying, basically. Um, I didn't mean to be that harsh, but no, well, right. But um, so what happens is that you don't have the ability to analyze and that all starts kind of slowing down. What art and this program, you know, we, it, what what it does is it helps you it's kind of like a puzzle so you're puzzling pieces together and it's very very important for every student to come to every class to get the the full the benefits, benefits right right um the other obviously very very important benefit is the social the socialization socialization and um and the building blocks of art and also the the emotional happiness that you'll get from what you're going to produce is is really really it, it it's beneficial in every sen sense of right. the world, you know so the class you know we titled it as for a beginner but that doesn't mean that someone who isn't already doing artistic work if they want to brush up on some things, can't join us for any reason. And I say us because I told Lorena I'm actually taking the class. I'm very excited. <laughs> <laughs> that was my I, that was my Christmas gift to me. I'm giving yeah, myself that right. gift. So I'm taking the class. Fantastic. So anyway, so, so, so in my experience, um, at least 50% of the people that have that I have taught and that have been that there are a couple that are now very successful artists that are selling and everything. They were actually art teachers. And every class it would be like, oh my God, nobody taught me this. Now I understand. And you know, it it doesn't matter what level of art you're at. This is you're gonna see things totally different when you leave this class. Okay. Great really eye-opening you're you're never going to look at clouds the same you're never going to look at wine bottles the same it's it's really really fun and 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 entertaining and eye-opening good and and the benefits for um the class for our true beginner is that lorena provides all of the materials all you need to do is bring yourself exactly because I think a lot of times for um, people to want to try things, you know, when it comes to art, you need supplies. And that's that roadblock that some people are like, I can't be bothered. But I love that you presented oh, this opportunity to provide everything and just show up, be present and be open to what you're going to learn that day. Exactly. And be ready to laugh. <laughs> that's good. Well, we love laughter. We love laughter. Um, so again, I just want to make sure that um, we share all the correct dates. So the class starts on February 7th. And again, it's running for eight weeks from 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. So it's a two hour class and it ends on March um, 28th. So it's eight weeks long. So if anyone is interested, you can go to the website and register for the class there, www.scannj.org. You can call me at SCAN if you have any questions, or I can um, send Lorena an email if there's anything in particular you would like to know. But I am very excited to have you join our staff at SCAN, our teaching staff. Excited. Good, I'm very glad. Excited. And uh, again, I thank, I thank you for being here today and, and giving us the opportunity to get to um, meet you a little bit and um, get ready for your class in February. Thank you so much. Thank you. Happy holidays. And I will see you in January. Thanks, Lorena.